in the context of Indian politics, electoral politics refers to the process of participating in elections as well as the strategies and the activities employed by the political parties and the candidates to win the seats in the legislative body such as parliament or the state assemblies. Now electoral politics revolves around the democratic system where the citizens have the right to vote and to choose their representatives. And political parties in India engage in electoral politics to gain the political power and the influence. Now they develop manifestos which outline the policies and promises to attract the voters. Now the political parties also undertake various activities like organizing rallies, public meetings, door-to-door -door campaigns to connect with the voters and to gain their support. Now the concept of electoral politics revolves around several concepts like contestations, representation, participation and the, and the major emerging trends that has been happening in the Indian politics. Now hence electoral politics in India plays a vital role in shaping the country's demo, uh, democratic landscape. Now first of all we will talk about the concept of participation with respect to the electoral politics. Now participation in electoral politics is a fundamental aspect of democracy as it allows the citizens to have a say in the governance of the country. Now in India, the election commission, the election commission uh, conducts the elections at the regular interval to ensure that the citizens can exercise their right to vote freely and fairly. Now the key aspects of the participation, the first one we have is the voter turnout. Now electoral participation in, is often measured by the voter turnout which is the percentage of the eligible which is the percentage of the eligible voters who can cast their ballots. Now, when we talk about the uh, voter turnout, if, if there is a low voter turnout, then uh, it can be a concern for the democracy as it may lead to the under-representation under -representation of the certain groups or the lack of public legitimacy legitimacy for the elected officials now for example if we talk about when we talk about the general elections that was held in 2019 india witnessed a significant level of participation with over 900 900 million eligible voters the second one we have is the youth engagement. Now when we talk about the youth engagement, it is a very crucial aspect of the electoral politics. Now the various efforts has been, uh, has been made uh, by the political parties and the candidates to educate, to educate as well as to encourage young people to participate in elections because this youth is uh, this youth are the future these youth are the future of the democratic decision making the next one we have is the civil education now promoting civil education is vital to fostering informed and engaged citizens by providing the knowledge about the democratic processes as well as the political system and the importance of the 
voting civil education aims to empower the individuals to participate actively and make informed choices during the election 